Welcome back. In this video, let's add a simple search form so that we can search instead of having to type into the URL bar chicken or whatever our food is. Let's create a form where I can type some food name. I can hit go and it will take me to the component using that food name. So if I type soda, I should see I love to eat soda. So I'm going to make a new component and we can call this foodsearch.js and inside of that create my new component, export food search, and it's going to be extremely simple. All we need is a single input, type set to text, and we'll give it a placeholder of, mm, let's do search for a food, and then since this is React, we have to go through all those hoops, we need to control it, so we need to add a piece to the state that we will bind to the input, so constructor props, super props and then this dot state equals and let's call this query it starts as an empty string perfect and then in here we're going to say value equals this dot state dot query and then we have to do that fun thing with on change and we'll do this dot handle change which doesn't exist yet so let's define that handle change accepts the event object and then we will set state to update the value of query. And since there's only one uh, input, we don't need to worry about making this more reusable like we've seen before. So I'm going to hard code query in and we're going to update it to event.target.value. Okay, so then we need to bind this dot handle change equals this dot handle change dot bind this. We'll save. Now in our app.js, instead of rendering the home page, let's render this input and let's put an h1 above it that says search for a food. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go to our app.js and we will import food search from dot slash food search and then we'll add it as part of the root route. So in here, we will render a food search. And do we see if we go to the root path? Okay, search for food. There's currently no button, but let's make sure as I type, the state is actively being updated in that form. It's kind of annoying to navigate through all of this. Okay, so I type something. Okay, it is updating. So now what we're going to do is add a button. So when I click this button, it should take me to the correct food route. So if I typed chocolate, it should take me to food slash chocolate. Now we have a choice in how we do this, and I'm gonna show you the simplest way up front, which actually doesn't require any new information. We don't need any new React router methods or components or anything. We can use a link. So instead of using a button and having an on click for the button and having to deal with some way of redirecting or changing the route, which we'll see very shortly, in this video, we can use a link. So I'm going to import link from React Router DOM, and then we'll use a link right here. So a link tag, and let's just have it say go or something like that. And the to is the important part. We're going to send you to slash food slash whatever your query is. And that means we need to build a string and I'll use the back ticks to do that. So slash food slash and then we will add in using the dollar sign and the curly braces this dot state dot query whatever is in the form so before you ever click this link it will be updating as you're actually typing into the input and if we look here you can see the href right now is slash food slash nothing and as i type that href is updating now remember it's not really behaving like a regular link like an anchor tag because react router is preventing a real get requests from being made. Okay, so as I type something like pi and I click go, it takes me to food slash pi. So we have successfully made a simple search form. It's not adding anything to the state. It's not updating any data. All that it does is it takes me to another route and it passes in that param as part of the URL string slash food slash whatever we type. So if this is all you need, if you're just trying to take a user to another place, 
then a link is a really easy way of doing that. Of course, we can style it to look like a button. So rather than actually having a button, having to add an on click, an event handler, and having to manually redirect the user, we can use a link and it's nice and easy. We just make it look like a button. Okay, so that is how you can use a link to make a search form.